Good morning, everybody. I'm in an open collab. That's right, an open collab. And it is hosted by Life with Patty. And what it is, is um, Artesian Journal, or no, Artisan Journal 2024. I gotta stop and think this morning. I ain't got much to think with, but I have to think, right? And what you do is you get a um, book of some sort and um, Patty gives you a prompt each week and I'm behind three weeks. I'm behind on Red Picnic and Vintages for this week. And on Sunday, she gives you the prompt for the following week, what it's going to be. So what you do is you um, go searching, looking, whatever, color, whatever you need to do to have that prompt and put it in a mixed media um, book or whatever you have, a flip book, whatever. But what she does ask is you do a um, page, an introduction page, and this is my introduction page right here that tells a little about yourself. So um, that's all she requires. And we're almost halfway through the year, I think she said, if I remember right. Um, we're on 25 or 26 this week. I lose count. I've been on vacation. So without further ado, let's get started because I have three to show you. Um, I was behind. I keep my binder book with a hair tie. Of course, green, my favorite color. So let me bring you down so I can explain to you. Good morning. I don't know what happened, but I'm going to start with my red page here. I think I have my introduction done already. So the red page, I trimmed it out with red bling and a ladybug and a bow and it says hi and another bling and some ladybugs and a bling. Watermelon. Who doesn't like watermelon? And believe in yourself. That's right, believe in yourself. A strawberry drink, a strawberry donut, ooh, a cherry drink, a bling, my red peace signs, as everybody knows, I love my peace. Today is a good day for a good day. That's right, every day is a good day. And every day that we have, we make our day. If you want to be get up and be grumpy, well, your day's going to be grumpy and frumpy. But try to make it a good day. Okay, we're going to hop on to the second page. And I missed it. It was picnics. Oh, yeah, this is my picnic. I had a hard time this week with all three. We have a couple sitting here on the beach, all cozy, having a drink and a snack. And when they get done, they're coming over here to this wonderful blanket. And it was made by her mother. Yes, it was made by her mother. Didn't she do a nice job? And she tied it off in the corners. Yes, it's a little quilt. So as they're sitting there, they see this big old plane go by. They've got drinks waiting for them. They've got watermelon. They got some sweet tea. Oh yeah. And they've got the suns out. They picked a starfish from walking the beach. They're gonna sit down here, have a wonderful snack. They have sparkling water here. And this is uh, ba, 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 lime. This is blue sparkling water. And they just happen to find a nice palm tree they can sit under if it gets too hot. They've got buffalo. Whoa! They got a buffalo dip here. They're going to dip some strawberries in. They've got Doritos. They've got chips and some more strawberries. They've got toasted clubs 
wild dill mayonnaise sandwiches. Mmm, mmm, yum. And they got some wonderful cookies over here for dessert. Now, isn't that a great picnic? Who wouldn't love to go on that picnic? That's right. And now we're gonna flip it over to this week. And this week was vintage. That's right. And oh, I had a heck of a time. But I'm doing spam. That's right, and this tells all about spam. And that's what the original spam can used to look like. Now let me flip it over here for a moment. It says, a meat all season built to last, spam wouldn't quit. American GI Joes ate so much of the stuff, they had made it the target of their most withering mess hog jokes. Spam is a ham that didn't pass its physical. Spam is a meatball without basic training. Now I lay me down to sleep and pray the Lord the spam don't keep. But American allies in World War II credited spam with saving their bacon. The Russians called it Roosevelt sausage and a great and a great and and grateful. Without spam, we wouldn't be able to feed our army. The British, the Britain's former Prime Minister, Margaret Thatcher, who worked at her parents' groceries during the war, fondly recalled opening a can of spam to share with her friends on Boxing Day, the day after Christmas in 1943. So spam was quite the thing. And here it says, Hawaiians eat a total of 7 million cans of Spam a year. Spam Jam every April is a signature food festival. Consider these other tasty facts about Spam. So that's what I have for your vintage. So if you have not joined, again, this is Artisan Journal. That's right, 2024, and the host is Life with Patty. I'd like to thank Patty for hosting, and I'm putting that in because my first video stopped, so hopefully this one will continue. She gives you a prompt on a Sunday. You have all week to come up with a prompt. You can put it in a small book, a big book, a piece of paper, a cardboard, whatever you'd like. And you can save it and then have a flip through at the end of the year. Okay, everybody, have a great day. God bless. We'll see you on my next video. Bye now.